Hello and welcome to the MVS show, episode number 461. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and well, guys, this week is going to be one of those low energy episodes. I'll explain why later in a bit, but we got news for you this week, and let's hop right into it. So, first news is G5 Pony has smaller butts? Hard hitting news! Or hard hitting G5 news! That's what we're that's what we do here on Equestria Daily, and also on the MBS show. G5 artist Imalu pop, uh, popped, uh, uh, popped this Twitter, uh, tweet up on Twitter. Uh, I think the funniest complaint I've read about G5 so far is that the ponies don't have humongous parts, so some people can't bleep to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently, the flatter dog-like butts are actually a known aspect of the design. She couldn't confirm if this was planned all along to possibly quell the tsunami of explicit imagery that G4 received. But it's definitely something to note. G5 ponies have smaller butts. Of course, fan art will completely negate this very, this in every way. So for those of you that prefer more horse-like proportions, uh, posteriors, back there, if you're not, it's already <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, what what do I even say about this one? To me, this is just. It's just ridiculous, to be honest, if you have this kind of complaint. Like, why even? I mean, why, what can I say? I mean, the show, I mean, how? Oh, man, you, you know, I, I, I don't have anything to say. This is just ridiculous on a whole new level. <coughs> oh, boy, now we're moving on to the next news. <laughs> All right, here's something. Eastern Chinese consumer group says My Little Pony contains too much inappropriate behaviors. Mm. The Jingsu Consumer Council in Eastern China is apparently not too happy with some of the cartoons that have been imported into China over the years, including My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Apparently, this one and several others are inappropriate for children. According to both them and parents they've interviewed, citing frightened, uh, frightened facial. I'm sorry, is that frightening? No, it's frightened facial expressions and dangerous scenes. As the culprit. In Friendship is Magic's case, a character dipping itself in lava apparently sets off alarm bells. According to them, kids mimic this scene, and they cite a show called Bony Bears that played host to a brother accidentally killing his sister with an electric saw after watching the bears do it. I guess it would be a good idea to keep five-year-olds away from lava in Pony's case. You can read the, you can read more about the complaints along with parents' cite, uh, citations over here. You know, I'm not gonna read that. That's not a word. Oh, sweetie, but I have to extra time on that. Oh boy. <sighs> <coughs> okay. I get what I, I get where they're coming from. I get where they're coming from. I was an impressionable little kid before. And watching Donatello or Michelangelo swing his nunchucks around or even watching Bruce Lee swing his nunchucks around was pretty cool and badass. But <sighs> my parents were there. 
to tell me, stop that. You might hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. And one out of nine times, I would hurt myself with the nunchucks and stop doing it. So, for this one here, I get where they're coming from. I do. Because I surely as heck won't be showing my nephews a hell of a boss or a has-been hotel. So, here's the thing. This, this also goes back to uh, the ESRB uh, rating system where parents are angry that their kids are playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh no! Think of the children and stuff. But the thing is, you are responsible for your own spawn. Okay, probably to extend your whole family, but still. You are responsible to teach them what is going on on TV and telling them that Yo, stop that. That is just a show. You should not mimic that. It's not right. And you should teach and discipline them. Parents, some parents nowadays are putting the responsibility of taking care of their children on the black box on TV, or on the screen or just on the black box or even on the small black box like this one. So, the fact of the matter is, I feel sorry and re uh, sympathy for the parents, for the kids that the brother that accidentally killed her little sister or his sister. But alarm bells are ringing in my head. First thing first, how did the kid? got access to the saw in the first place. I mean, this is in China. So... It, it's one of those things when you break down everything, the blame is not really on the show. The blame is on the parents. Because here's the thing. An electric saw, for God's sake. If it's a gun, and if it happened in the US, then that's on the fault of the parents who don't keep their guns in a locked cabinet like you should do. But that is a different story for a different day, for a different topic. <coughs> and the one here citing, okay, um, the character dipping them uh, itself in lava apparently says, or I mean, yes, obviously, but context does matter too. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> you know what? I'm tired. Like, this is one of those topics where parents take care of your kids, don't expect us. On this box here to take care and teach and educate to no, don't expect us to educate uh, teach them moral values and also be a decent person we are as flawed as anyone else we try our best to be the best that we can be but the thing is we're not well in my case we're not professional caretakers some people are but they expect to get paid okay maybe some channels are just there to you know teach stuff but that's besides the point the point of the matter is you should take care of your own kids like even for me here i have two nephews they're really rambunctious they're really um rambunctious is the word yes but the thing is my sister takes care of them teach them right from wrong, discipline them when they do stuff. And I am here just to add a little bit of teaching when it comes. But 
I don't go overboard with, oh, the moral values, oh, and stuff. No, 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 that's not my job. My job is just to tell them, stop that, you'll get hurt. Tell them, and if they don't listen, ha <laughs> ha, it's not my fault for not listening to me. I've told you already. Now you have to learn it the hard way. <laughs> uh, that's how I was brought up, and that's how I'm going to teach my nephews. <laughs> but anyway, um, back to... Back to that. The thing is, yes, true parents. Um, how 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 do I put this? Shows that are coming into your country, the governments have to decide: is it okay or not? Some shows may deal with um, sensitive topics like um, sex or uh gender identity and whatnot some some countries do not like those kind of topics and that's and that's why they censor them or uh do not let them in i do remember a, a time where the my little pony comics got banned or restricted due to the fact that um <clears throat> due to the fact that um Aunt Holly and Aunt uh, Scoodles and I, I forgot Holly and something. Uh, they were portrayed to be a what you call this lesbian couple. And over here in Malaysia, that's a no go. So for a time, they were uh, the comic was banned. And even if I think right. I mean, um, if 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 I think right, right. Uh, let me just switch to the full cam for a bit before. Yeah, uh, if I do remember right, the My Little Pony comics on Comicsology. If you go through the, uh, Malaysian interwebs, they don't really, <clears throat> they don't really, uh, show that they're available. Uh, they're only it's hard to put this. Some of them are available, but not all of them. Let me, okay, My Little Pony. Click enter. And yep. Oh wow, this is even worse. Um, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I see. Okay, see, th um, what I'm getting is just the uh, manga. Nothing to do with the, um. Mainline Pony Comics. So that's very troublesome for me who do review for the comics. And I'm not saying that the manga is bad or not, but I don't know. I mean, manga is not my thing. So let me turn on my um, best friend, Mr. PIA, and try and see if I reload this. <coughs> Oh boy, it's taking a while. Okay, here we go. And here we go. See? More results after that. So it seems that uh, Comixology is blocking access to... I'm not 100% sure if it's Comixology or not, but still. Um, the, whatchamacallit, this, um, the website itself it's not giving me access to um, Momponi comics. So if you can see here, um, all of the comics are here and so on. But like I mentioned before, it's one of those things where uh, certain countries don't allow certain things. That's why they block it and whatnot. But in this case, <coughs> uh, yeah, I mean... Just because of Aunt Holly and Aunt something. I forgot her name. Gush. But uh, that's Malaysia's stance on it. I'm not 100% sure because I've seen a friend who bought more comic books of ponies. But it could be imported. I don't know. <clears throat> so, anywho. Um, that's the news for this week. So, let's go on to the next topic. What have I, do what have I been doing my week? So... Um, the reason for the low energy podcast is because 
uh, it's for the Islamic calendar, it's the month of Ramadan, and I am fasting. And I, I don't know how or why, I'm not having the same kind of energy as before, probably because, uh, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a lot to add on, because it's not because of Ramadan also, it could be uh, a lot of other little things, uh, not enough sleep, not enough motivation, and so on. And on top of Ramadan, where uh, if you guys got no idea, in the whole month of Ramadan, um, people are. Uh, what was happening? It's it's a fasting month, so you fast till sun rise to sunset, and you can enjoy your munchies uh, from well sun set to sunrise and so on so you have 12 hours of eating more or less give or take so the thing is uh, i'm doing that right now and i can't really go overboard or just really into it and oh man it's just been a bit tiring and the motivation for stuff like i as you guys know i i do another podcast and that there too is really, um, I haven't been doing much with that one because it, the motivation is not hitting me. And also on top of, oh man, I'm complaining. But long story short, it's just that a lot of things are piled on top of me and I feel drained mentally, emotionally, physically. So... With this one for the MBS show, um, I cite fasting as one of the key factors. If not, I just am normal. But still, um, that shouldn't um, stop me from doing more contents, which I'm doing right now. And as you can see the camera angle, I'm just, I, I just want to use the webcam for a bit. I don't really want to just hop on to the DSLR and look that way, my goodness. But anywho, guys, I hope you understand and still watch the show and support the show. Um, I, I, I'm I, trying to get myself pumped up to stuff and whatnot. But man, there's a lot of things and also money and also... Yeah, let's just say the pandemic is not helping. Hmm. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or, suggest or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, stitch radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLive.com. Also, please subscribe and read us on Review Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Future Radio. Over there, you catch me and Totero reviewing the funny episodes, comics, and specials. Uh, sometimes we like to do other things than ponies, and those are comic books, cartoons, animes, and movies. Also video games. Uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MPS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the Review and Discussion Podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about the thank yous i would like to thank lucky knight jeffrey master of luck and also tristan thank you so much guys you are great so anyway i have been norman sanzo and i'll catch you, <laughs> and i'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the bs show see ya <laughs>